guys and girls, Taro here and I'm bringing you a video answering all your questions that are slammed into my personal messages on YouTube. I found it takes me way too long to answer them all. I've been going through uh, hundreds of them and uh, it takes me a very long time to answer them so I'm going to try to do it on the fly, live, and uh, we'll see what we get. So the first question is from Bulletproof99, subject hi. So I was wondering if you could give me some tips on how to make gold on a very expensive server like Outland. In this server, the mats and items are extremely overpriced. Well, if everything's overpriced, then the profit's going to be the same. If mats are expensive, but the item you're selling is expensive too, then your profit margin isn't going to change. It doesn't matter whether it's cheap or it's expensive. What matters is the distance between the price of the mats and the item that you're going to be selling. All right, next up, Powerwall TV. Hey, dude, I was wondering if I could or if I should uh, make flasks that are maybe 10 to 30 gold profit, even though I'm a transmute master. I wouldn't do it if you're not an actual, uh, you know, flask specialist or elixir specialization type. I wouldn't do it, wouldn't even bother with it. But if it is a little bit of profit and you don't think you're gonna lose gold, then hey, try it out, see what happens. All right, let's see, Mac JDM. Hey, could you please make a video for making gold with skinning? Ah, that is coming out uh, probably next week. Kind of messing around with Diablo 3 and Mist of Pandaria right now, but I have not forgotten about uh, regular WoW. All right, Auction House from Gaming Sense, 1997. Hey there, great videos. Could you a week or two before Mist of do a stock up? I'm not gonna do it a week or two before. I'll do it much, much further before that. Um, I will have a like comprehensive list. Um, my uh, subs on my website will be getting that first, and then I'll make a video about it afterwards, giving you all the ideas to stock up on. And uh, you know, of course, it'll be based a little bit on your server and what's going to be popular there, and how much competition you have. All right, food is good. Your routes. I have your custom routes, but for my rogue, they only show the Twilight Highland and Duratar. So basically, uh, you probably have them hidden. So um, if you look at the instructions on my website on how to do it, each uh, section, you know, or you can just you know click on one. If you go through the tabs, you'll see on the top in the middle there's a box that you can check, and it's to hide or unhide your uh, routes. There you go. All right, nine three zero eight two whatever. I don't know if you knew this, but after you loot your mailbox, you don't have to wait. Yeah, you can refresh, but the only problem is the reason why I'm waiting is because I have to record everything, you know, so you can see the proof in it. If I refresh it, then it doesn't add up all the gold in the uh, add-on. It will clear it out every single time, which can be annoying. Thanks, so I do appreciate it. Uh, let's see, Mork Pot. Is it worth leveling skinning and leatherworking up um, gold-wise? Yeah, definitely. Uh, I mean, skinning's pretty cool. It's a lot more interesting than mining or uh, urban or, you know, herbing for you Europeans. It is, uh, you know, you kill monsters and stuff and uh, beasts and all that and whatever. It's fun, you know. Well, a lot more interesting and then you can use that stuff to uh, you know make stuff with leather working which will make you even more gold or you can just straight sell it and not worry about the hassles Let's see epic killer wow uh, I just wanted to say man I've been a fan for a long time I've been watching some streams as of late and there's a guy called wow marketeer you probably haven't heard of him but he bans people when they bring up your name he says you copy some of his stuff on YouTube and it bothers me so bad, I really wanted to tell you. I hope you read this. Keep up the good work. Yeah, I don't even know. <laughs> I have no idea who that is. Uh, I don't know how I copy somebody that I don't know, but whatever. I'm the first with everything, so I doubt I'm copying anybody. All right, Justice Dark. I was wondering if you tried getting gold by farming the greenies for transmog. I noticed some of the sets sell for thousand gold each piece which could be pretty good gold making what's your opinion on this 
Well, if you can make it, you know, profitable by looking at the time that it takes you to actually get an item and how much you can sell it for, if it's worth it to you, then why not do it? All right, Taz worth one. Free movie. Oh, great. Yeah, no thanks. All right. Oh, wow, Hobbs. Hi, can you add me to Skype under the name? Okay, I'm gonna have to block that out. I, I doubt he wants anybody to know uh, his Skype name. It looks kind of secretish. All right, Worldwide Fishing Club. Thought you might like it. Yeah, I doubt it. I do like fishing, but I'm not gonna read all that. It looks like something costs money. Okay, Luke here from Next Level Gaming Guides. Pretty much do the exact same thing as I did in my 150k video. Swifty liked it, so I know you watched it. Plus, it's the exact same thing. I'm not mad at all. I actually encouraged this, and you were one of the reasons I started making gold guides. Also, I know that I'm not the only one that knows how to do that, so it's cool to see you doing it. I was wondering if you wanted to work together, maybe make a podcast or commentary. Um, I'll have to get back to you on that, and actually, my latest video, pretty much the exact same, I have no idea what you're talking about, I'm sorry, I don't even know who you are. Your name does look familiar though, maybe you commented on something. Okay, Pirate Night Sun, Carnelian Spikes, hey, you said in your video that we should use three Carnelians for one spike, wouldn't it? be also a good idea to transmute them into Inferno Rubies. Well sure, if it's more gold then you have an Alchemist, but I can't assume that every player who has jewel crafting has an Alchemist. But you know, you can always ask a friend and stuff to do it if you want to try that route and you don't have an Alchemist, but it's totally up to you. And I would just pick the most profitable route that takes you the least amount of time. Sun Dream. Hello Taro, I've been following your guides. Blah blah blah. So other to my question, so whatever that means. I just got back to the game and saw your 7.3 a day with JC. Sadly on my servers the prices are weird. Therefore I'm not quite sure what to buy when it comes to making profit with digging items. Stack prices are obsidian ore, 15 a stack, elementium ore, everything from 50 to 70 a stack, and pyrite ore 75 gold a stack. Well, depending on the prices of, you know, uncommon gems and things like that, Obsidian Ore at 15 gold is actually pretty sweet. Um, I don't know if I would, uh, you know, worry too much about prospecting it at that price. I mean, that's really cheap and you can make some mad gold off of that. Elementium Ore doesn't look too bad either on the 50 gold side. In that case, I would stick away from Pyrite Ore and uh, get your Elementium Ore for 50 gold a stack. If you can get it for even cheaper by, you know, finding somebody who actually farms all the time and can just set you up with a COD when they're done, that actually would be the best way. Trying to get it around for 35, 40 gold, and then depending on your other prices should make you some nice profit. Okay. Okay, Fear 56, Broke 6G. Total, please help me, advice. Okay, so you only have six gold. No, I'm probably one of the many who constantly send you messages saying I'm broke, help me, blah blah blah. So I decided with the little gold I had on making low level dark moon decks, thinking they would sell for a ton of gold. I ended up spending all my last coins. I had the decks. Well, you know, try to get rid of the decks. And um, if you're looking to make some gold, you have herbalism. Uh, so I would get out there and farm. If you only have six gold, there's not much else you, you know, not much else you can actually do. So I would stick to herbalism until you get some gold flowing and then you can work over into jewel crafting or enchanting. And I'd stay away from uh, risky stuff like dark moon decks on low levels. All right, life food film. Yeah. Really not into that. Okay. YouTube background. Hi, I was just wondering, looking at your YouTube background, would you like me to make you one for free? That's from Fozzy. Yeah, you can try. Um, I'm pretty happy with the one I have now. Uh, if you make it, you know, kind of Mr. the Pandaria uh, type themed, that would be great. Let's see here. 
Have you done a blacksmithing guide to 1 to 5? 25. Yes, I have. Check my website. That's from 3MP71995. Best of all, guys. Work on LOL. Hello, Taro. Today I saw your vid, and now around 5 hours later, I'm 540 Herbalism because I'm a Tauren. I just typed to you because I wanted you to uh, know that your vids are amazing and keep them coming, bro. I definitely will. Thanks for the uh, feedback. Alright, Backstorm13, can you tell me what the add-in is that shows all your mails in the mailbox at the right corner? Because Postal doesn't show it, so it's probably, if Postal isn't showing it, then it's going to be Trade Skill Master, or, uh, you know, the whatever the newest version of that is, that probably has it inside of it. Alright, let's see, Piano and Honor Singer, I need your help. I just watched a few of your videos. You, Respond to all comments. Yeah, I'm sorry. It's like a month and a half later, but yeah, I'm responding. Okay, I play a feral druid on Molten WoW private server. Okay, and uh, I PvP a lot, and I get pwned in arenas. My question to you is, how do I get a better weapon without arena rating? I have a two-ton hammer. Please help me. A better weapon I mean I would get the rating up but if you can't get your rating up then you're gonna probably have to do uh, you know either get the lower stuff that you can buy with um, points or you can uh, you know maybe try to use the PvE weapon do some uh, do some looking for raids or something all right Brock 36 favorite profession goal making so I was wondering uh, I know you've experimented in almost every way to make gold in World of Warcraft, so I have two questions. Which do you enjoy the most? Which do you find the best? Lowest effort, the highest profit ratio. Much appreciated if you respond. I love the videos, keep up the good work, and I can't wait to see the videos for Mop. Yeah, um, it's really hard to say, because I don't think you can mix enjoy with making, you know, highest profit. So, the one that I would say the most enjoyable profession is actually going to be, um, like, with making gold, it's going to be skinning, because it can get pretty fun, you know, you gather up a crap ton of mobs, and then AoE them all down, just in, you know, just get in a way with your life, basically, you know, end up with, like, 500 HP, you almost died, and then you skin them all to profit. It's pretty fun. Now, as far as in the best and um, lowest effort, the highest profit ratio, uh, that's a hard one too. I mean, any gathering profession is going to be the lowest effort. I mean, honestly, you can you can basically zone out, watch TV, jam to some music, talk to friends while you run around in circles in a zone and farm up stuff, and that's pretty easy. And as far as in profit goes, it just takes time. So whatever the time is. And you can do that all day long and make the most gold possible. Whereas if you have jewel crafting, which is also pretty good, but you know that it takes a lot of effort. You have to get all the recipes first, and then you have to, you know, cut stuff and prospect and calculate, and it can get, you know, frustrating. Not nearly as bad as inscription, but it can take time. And it takes a little bit of a rhythm to get going. Alchemy is pretty easy when it comes to transmutes. It doesn't take long at all to do them. And uh, you're not going to make a killing, but you're going to make some decent gold. So really, you know, to actually answer your question, that's my opinion. But honestly, it just depends on you. Alright, let's see here. Looks like I skipped back a page and I didn't mean to. Okay, Omni Dex Tink or something about Boom Kims. Hey Tara, I don't play retail because simply don't have the money, but I can't seem to find a good talent build for 3.3.5 patch. I was wondering if there's any way you can show me a spec, because on your site it's for 4.0. Uh, if you search my site though, you should find the older um, one, or if even you search my YouTube video, you might uh, find it there, and that will have the older, um, older specs. All right, let's see here. Gamer Guy 295. Soon I hope to return to WoW and was wondering if you would be willing to send me a scroll and help me get back into the game. Uh, I really want to try and relearn how to raid and such, and I want somebody who knows what they're doing. Oh, I'm sorry, that's like a month ago. I'm sure you found somebody by now. 
All right, Kagrith. Hey Tara, I was just wondering how you still have fun in WoW. I don't really want to quit, and I'm excited for Mists of, and I PvP and raid, but should I just play less until Mist comes out, or take a break, or what do you recommend? I recommend doing whatever's fun for you. I mean, if you still can have fun by maybe, you know, playing with friends more often instead of trying to solo stuff, if that's what you're doing, or, you know, a lot more interaction with the uh, stuff, or you can go back, make a new character, you can do all kinds of things in the game. Now, if, if you want to get away from the game, you can try to see if you can get into um, the beta, make sure you're signed up for Mist. You can fool around in there, or if you've um, done your one year, like WoW annual, whatever it's called, you can get D3. Um, I don't know if you could still do it, but uh, if you did that, then you would have D3 and you can mess around with that as well. Alright, let's see. Mr. Rest in Peace server change. Do you know any good servers? Because I want to change servers. I really don't. I mean, every time I switch servers, I check and research and see what's, you know what will appeal to me. And I do have a video about that. Um, you can check my channel, search it up, and uh, just look for a server choosing, you know, it's called a server choosing video or something like that. Auction house. Hi Rutaro, I just want to tell you that I love your videos, but I'm just asking which add-ons do you use to auction house and how do you use them? Can you make a guide about them? I know you already have a guide about that, but that's an old one. Yeah, I plan to go through all the add-ons. Um, I was just kind of trying to wait through the uh, Diablo 3 initial like uproar or whatever you want to call it, like the popularity that it has right now. And then um, I'll be going through all the add-ons to get everybody ready for uh, Mr. Pandaria. So just uh, hang on and you'll see it, you know, each one coming out for each different aspect of auctioning. Alright, see, gold, silver, truth, gold plus mindsight equals prosperity. My team and I are looking for people who are able to see the connection between the current opportunity that exists in gold and silver. Oh, yes, I'm very interested, but I do that on my own, thank you. That's an IRL question, by the way, that has nothing to do with WoW. Okay, World of Xenon. Tara, I would love to do me a favor. Check out my channel. Okay. Yeah, I'll check it out later. Right, let's see. Feature you on our site. I already read through that one. Alright, let's see. Milky909, Leatherworking Guide. Been trying to gather the materials for the Leatherworking Guide recently. I noticed on your material list, you don't have heavy boring leather listed, but yet in the guide, it's required to make a few things from 415 to 425. That's right, it's not listed because you actually make it. So inside the guide, if you're following along, um, you, you would make it in the steps, and that's where it is. And that's why it's not listed. All right, let's see, Dark Killer 5000. I don't know if you remember me, but on Catabeta, we had a long and funny conversation about our vids. Uh, well, I have you in my channel box since over a year, and was just wondering if you want to box for box. If you don't want, I don't care, and still let you, because of your awesomeness, have a nice day. Yeah, I actually thought you were on my box, but, you know, I will add you. I uh, apologize that you weren't on there to begin with, but thanks for adding me as well. Right, let's see, All Around Gaming 111. Hello, my name is George. I made a tune and put in an input to join Obsidian, Obsidian Spur. I think your videos are great. Just wanted to let you know my thoughts. Okay. <laughs> well, thanks. Feature the Vesshart website. Hey Tara, I'm a big fan and I use all your guys. I came across a mistake on your website at Herbalism Guide at 400 to 425. On the map picture it says 400 to 435, but in the text it says Shulzar Basin is the best spot for farming herbs back in Wrath and great for leveling to 425. So change the 435 to 425. 
what's an option, you know? You can actually stay there for even longer if you wanted to, but I will update the text just for you, and thank you for noticing that. All right, VolXHD, made a partner BG. There's link part. I have no idea. Check out, tell me if you want to add your logo on it and do something on it. Oh, background, okay. Well, I will check it out, thank you. All right, let's see here. Matthias, what profession make most gold? Well, that's, that's a great uh, question. It's, yeah. It's the number one question that everybody asks me, and honestly, it's all based on time. If you can sit around, and you can mine, or you can herb, or you can skin, you can make the most money gathering all day long, more money than you'll ever make with any other profession, but it's time consuming. So, you know, it depends on what you want to do. Check out my videos and then kind of get a feel for it. Okay, this one takes two hours to make three, you know, around 3,000 gold, but yet I can spend two hours farming and make, you know, 3,000 or 2,500 gold and I can do that all day. It's up to you. All right, Gate Demon one about machinima making commentary. Hello Taro, how do you prepare yourself for a commentary? I'm already doing them on my channel, but I want to do one for machinima. Also, do you have some tips? Glitch videos. Well, I guess you don't need to put an intro in front of your videos. And as far as in uh, preparing yourself for commentary, I don't do anything. Uh, I'm actually answering this question on the fly, so. There's no prep work except for starting up the uh, fraps so you can see what I'm doing and then uh, recording my voice. That's about it. Oh, drinking water. You know, I don't know. Some people use honey. I'm no singer. I'm not going to go that far. All right, let's see here. HZ Maniac Tube. Hey, I read this in video idea. So as you make a lot of gold making video, there's an idea for you about fishing. Dark Moon Fair, there's these floating box fish schools where you can catch cages inside where you get money is heavy savage leather and ever silk cloth. So far, you know, I've made like, so he's made like six to 1200 gold in an hour. That's not bad. I can try to make a video on it, but um, it just might be your server, but I'll, I'll test it out. Sorry, it was wrong info. I had meant in 10 minutes. Well, Hell, in 10 minutes, that's pretty damn awesome. Okay, now I will I will definitely check it out. Okay, another video suggestion. Silenz1. I was wondering if you could do a tutorial where you show how to and how to farm the mats for the vial of the sandstone drake. Kind of how you did with uh, Jeeves the Butler or whatever his name was. Awesome, thanks, and I love you. Well hearts back and I will uh, look into that uh, a lot of it's actually gold you know more so than farming the mats those vendor mats are really expensive but I'll check it out see what I can do all right let's see here um, hey from dude with hat hey Taro I've been watching your videos for a while now and I was wondering how do you deal with people that undercut by a lot for example, I was posting glyphs on the auction house and a lot of people would just undercut me by 100 gold glyphs get up to 270 on my server, but most people undercut down to 10 gold. Any ideas on how to fix this or how to deal with them? Or how do I deal with them? Well, basically, I mean, mat wise some of the glyphs, you know, Sometimes when you're milling and stuff, 10 gold, you're still making money or you're breaking even. So that's why these people can do it. Now, if you're buying ink, you're already doing it wrong. You know, unless you're like lazy, I guess, and you just want to see if you can make some gold pretty quick. And I have nothing against that either. But these people are likely milling everything like whip tail, you know, that's only cost them like a gold and a half a stack or something like that. And it's pretty easy for them to sell glyphs at that price and still make money or at least break even. And what their goal is, is to get you out of the market, piss you off, whatever. The best thing that you can do is ignore it, you know? They're not gonna be able to do it forever. 
there's no reason for them to be able to do it forever. And you just gotta kinda outlast them. And uh, maybe you can try marketing in uh, different glyphs that they don't, you know, mess with. Try to look at ones that they're not, you know, flooding the market with. That's what I would do. All right, Nerf Modder Guy. Hey, Ru, you have done many videos that has made me quit wealthy and wow. I'm not sure what that means, but I always, oh, made me quite healthy, I guess, or wealthy, whatever. But I always have problems leveling my tunes. I was curious if you would be doing a vid on leveling a tune to like 80 or 85. Well, I do have a video from like 1 to 80, but it's super old and yeah. Um, I don't plan on leveling any characters to 85 anytime soon, to be honest, especially with Mr. Pandaria coming out. Um, I already have God knows how many characters and how many multiples of like the same, you know, class. I got like four warlocks and, you know, a couple paladins and it's just ridiculous. I'll have to show uh, everybody sometime. But I would be leveling those up to 85 if they're not already. But other than that, I don't plan on starting at level one anytime soon. Now that may change with the uh, X pack coming, um, but as of right now, don't plan on doing it. Okay, speedy level one. Hello, Taro. I am trying to get the first level 600 Yule. I'm gonna guess you mean Jewel Crafting. From my server, my two friends are mining for me and I make 50 gold for buying mats. Do you have any more tips for me to get first 600? Don't sleep. Honestly, that's probably, you know, if you don't focus on leveling and um, you're more so on, you know, trying to level this up instead, and you don't sleep, you're probably gonna be, uh, you know, pretty well off. I would also look at how far you can level with the, the current um, items that are available in game. So I would look at any of the items that can give skill points at the highest level of jewel crafting and look at gathering those up so you can get a jump start on leveling your jewel crafting when uh, mists come out. All right, let's see, Vivid AMV. Hello, I've been following your videos for a bit now, but I'm really curious. I have two level 85s and my rogue is also close, but the problem is I have no professions on any of them. I have very low starting gold and getting up professions is hard. I'd like to find the professions that would go good together that would benefit me and make me some gold. Any help would be nice, but you do have 62,000 subs, so I do not expect an answer. Well, you're getting an answer today and uh, no problem on the thanks. And uh, basically, if you really have no gold whatsoever, then you're gonna be stuck getting a gathering profession. You really don't have a choice. And from there, you can, you know, you can get some gold together and get a different profession. So maybe you want, if you want like a strict farmer, uh, a rogue is not a, uh, not bad at all. Especially, you know, you, you um, can get like herbalism, or herbalism and uh, mining and put them together and then you can just do that until you make mad money and then you can drop one of them say you drop uh, herbalism then you could get you know jewel crafting match it up with mining to get going then you can drop mining and go with alchemy or something like that that would be more beneficial to your character but it's totally up to you what you do but my advice is you're gonna have to start with gathering professions to begin with I do have videos on every single one, so check my website for that. All right, let's see. Um, B3U, whatever, all right. I've seen your videos about reaching the gold cap in WoW. My primary professions are alchemy and herbalism. My secondary is fishing. So I have two questions. Is there a good combination for farming gold? Or is this a good combination for farming gold? If yes, what products do you recommend selling on the auction house to farm gold. I'm playing on a realm of patch 3.3. Well, if you're playing back then, then flasks are probably still pretty popular. So I would make sure your alchemist is a uh, flask, uh, has the uh, elixir specialization. 
And then I would herb it, whichever flasks you wanna make, which I would actually make a, a variety of them. And I do have old school videos on that stuff as well. So if you check my website, you can do a search or you can check YouTube and do a search there for, um, you just put like alchemy, you know, wrath or something in the search box, gold making, and um, you should get some videos to help you out on that. All right, MDJ6506. Big fan of the videos, they're very helpful. Anyway, I downloaded the add-on routes and tried to download your routes in the add-on, but I think the link on your website is corrupt or something. Um, well, it worked perfectly fine. I just uh, rechecked it today. Somebody else um, said that they couldn't do it. It's probably, you know, I have no idea, but it's probably something to do with uh, it being a rare file, maybe. Maybe your program or zip file, your, your computer doesn't like it but there is no corruption in it. I'm not sure actually, if you're on a Mac, I don't I don't actually know if that would cause any issues. So that could also be something. I'm not, I don't really know what to tell you because that's gonna be on the route side. All I have in that zip file is a text file. Honestly, that's all that really is. It's a LUA, but it's a, um, all it is is a text file. It has nothing else in it. No images, no funny stuff, nothing. So I'm not really sure why it would be corrupt or how would you, it would even get that way. But anyway, try again. Try a different browser too, that might help. Okay, I crafty, please help. Hey, could you please help? Um, tell me what you record WoW on and how do you get to fill the whole page without black borders, thanks. The whole page without black borders. I'm really not sure what you're asking, but I think you made me full screen. So uh, just make sure that you get, well, you get fraps, that would be what you would be um, recording with, and then you just put it on full screen or half screen or whatever. And when, um, when you play it back, it should be the resolution that's you know, based on your computer. Now, if you have a, you know, if you're recording in something and um, you're watching it on somebody else's computer and their resolution isn't the same, then it can stretch it or give you those black borders that you might not want. And it also could be your wow if you have black borders. And no, I don't know. Even in window mode, you shouldn't have an issue. Anyway, I would just check into Fraps and see how that works out for you. The zero and one. Hey, Rutaro, I've been watching your vid since uh, Wrath and wanted to take the time to thank you and show my appreciation for the help you've provided me and all your viewers. However, my question is, would you be open to forming a guild for you and your fans as well as others to farm, get achievements, raid, etc., like Hobbs and Recycled Heroes? No, I'm not really interested in a guild right now. Um, maybe in Miss, but I highly doubt it. Um, especially now with uh, guilds having levels and things like that, it's really a pain to change and then level all that, all that back up with like each of your characters and it just becomes a nuisance. And having a guild that might not be able to do stuff and you know, it can be kind of risky. If we didn't have these stupid levels that controlled everything, I would totally be for it. And I actually did have one back in um, like when, uh, I think patch 4.0 or something like that, or even before that, um, I just had one for, you know, my alts, my friends and things like that, and it was great. But now it's kind of tied in, you're kind of stuck in being in a guild that can um, be the top level. All right, Prab and whatever's. Hello there, I really enjoy watching videos. I'm doing an FB comp and could do with all the help I can get. All you have to do is go for my pick. Not sure, okay. Uh, hybrid Blast, can I still use your guides if I'm a low pub server? Or if I'm on a low population server, I think is what you meant. Do you, okay, can you still use it? Yeah, of course you can still use my guides on low pop. I mean, honestly, my server right now, and for the last like few months, is pretty low pop on the Horde side. Alliance side is still like on the high side, but uh, Horde's pretty low, low to medium, I would say. Um, do you IRL have any pets? And do you like cats? No, I don't like, well, I like cats, but I don't have any. And uh, I don't think I ever will. They're a pain to deal with. You know, they ruin furniture, piss and 
crap everywhere. Okay, well, I guess you get one of those litter boxes, but you know what? That stinks, and now I'm rambling. And, um, two fish. You're asking about pets. Two fish, that's it. And if you were to play ally, which race would you pick? Which race? Um, the only time I ever played ally... Uh, well, my first um, character on Ally, I believe, was a gnome, you know, and we get a lot of hate, you know, being a gnome, it's kind of a hard uh, race to play, you know, you get kicked around, punted, you know, made fun of, it's always a height issue, you can't reach anything on any shelf, you know, and you gotta ask a human who wants to ask a human for help, you know, I don't, personally, do you ever go to the website? No, and I don't plan to. Sounds kind of sketchy. Do you play League of Legions? No, I don't. Do you play Diablo 3? Yes, I do. Did you play D1 and 2? Uh, D1, barely. I was too young for that, to be honest. D2, though, though, I did waste a lot of my life. Okay, it wasn't a waste. It was fun playing with friends. But, yeah, I did play it quite excessively. D2 was awesome. Did the ladder hardcore thing, you know, had a 94 barb. And uh, until they reset the ladder and that just set me off. And I was like, forget this. I don't wanna do it all over again. Run the chaos, oh, no thanks. And then I quit and a couple months later, I think is when WoW came out and I got stuck to that. All right, let's see, Dr. Zombie 34. Do you play Horde on the server named Sargeras? Well, I sure do. I mean, it's in all the info in uh, every video that I released recently. But um, yes, to confirm, I am on Sargeras. All right, let's see, Kurt, wow guys, recording software. Hey dude, I'm going to make some PVP videos on WoW and I was wondering what recording software you use. I use Fraps. I even have a video on it. You can, um, you can just uh, search Taro Fraps or something like that and you should find it. It'll tell you how to set it up and everything. Permission to use your guys with full credit. I already went through that one. Okay, do San54321. Do you plan a private server? No, I don't. And what's the name of the items that you can wear in WoW from 1 to 80? If you know what I'm thinking of. Heirlooms? I guess is what you're talking about. Um, just go to wowhead.com and, and uh, you can look at the you can change your search options and look up just heirlooms. Right, let's see. Miracle Boyd would would be cold some vods. Okay, I've I've gone this far, not dissing on anybody's English, and because I know a lot of people are from different countries and stuff like that. But I mean, all right. All right, I gotta translate this. Would be cool, maybe, if you could do some videos on powering your way on the D3 auction house to mad IRL cash. Take care. Uh, that's what I'm translating it to. Yeah, it would be cool, except um, until the 12th, it doesn't look like it's gonna be working. Whatever. All right, the Asians, okay. Can you purchase a spectral? Oh, I remember this message. No, I'm sorry. <laughs> There's none even on my auction house, and how would I even get it to you on some random realm that I don't even know of? Sorry. The bug 96. Yeah, so I got pretty much all volatiles in my bags. I'm just wondering that should I keep them until mop and they sell them for... Jesus Christ. Whew. It takes a lot of patience to go through some of these and um, no offense, but when you're writing stuff, you should probably, you know, take a couple seconds. I mean, you use commas, punctuation, capitalization. It's just words together. I know I use some weird words sometimes too and I screw up talking, I'm sure. But you know, whatever. We all try, I suppose, we all try. But anyway, yeah, um, if the price is not good for you right now, you, sure, you can try saving um, saving them till mop and see what happens. Emerald, hey babe, whatever. I'm assistant to website owner, ebook. Yeah, no thanks. 
the BC Raider website or YouTube. Hey Taro, I've been watching your vids since the beginning of Wrath possible end of BC and I was wondering if it is possible to make enough money off of making money off of just is, is that like a stutter inside of a never mind anyway just your website with the advertisement or if making videos on YouTube is a bigger income don't need exact numbers was just wondering thanks for your time and keep the awesome bits coming which makes more money my website or YouTube well neither of them are, are that great to be honest just gonna put that out there the website pays for itself that's about it and it's really expensive so they're about the same I don't really see a difference between the two but it's nothing special you're not gonna get rich off of it or anything unless you're really popular and obviously I'm not I mean 62,000 people yeah, it's a great number but it's nowhere near like half a million like some other people but to tell you the truth I think it's pretty even, depending on if you have a good website or a bad website. If it's just some crap thing in the hole that nobody maintains, you're gonna make more on YouTube with a video. But if you do more, you know, if you do hard work, then you probably um, will have pretty even across the board. All right, that's it for these questions. My God, that was a long time. I'm not gonna do a long ass video like this for questions again. Um, I'll do a page at a time, so once this fills up, I wouldn't put any personal information unless you want people to have it inside these uh, messages. I'm gonna try to block out some people's, but you know, honestly, I might not be able to. So, sorry. Other than that, just know um, you can send whatever you want. Any sort of question, doesn't matter how stupid it is. Uh, maybe we can get some comedy out of it, but uh, just don't get ridiculous. Try to keep it straight. Anyways, that's it for this question and answer video from my uh, personal message box on YouTube. Thanks for watching, and if you haven't yet, please subscribe and visit my website, tarawildguides.com. Now go PvP or something, and try to do it in D3. Not many people are PvPing.